Independence leaders call for protesters to remain peaceful as scenes of unrest have raised security concerns. Hello, this is Katala News in 100 seconds. Altercations in Barcelona and other major cities on Tuesday night prompted a joint call for non-violence by the nine jailed Catalan leaders, whose sentencing two days ago sparked a wave of protests. Clashes with police resulted in 30 arrests and almost 170 people injured, including 40 Catalan police officers. La policia de fer la seva feina i la fa, que és garantir l'ordre públic. Però també demano als catalans i catalanes que aïllin aquests grups de violents, que no ens fan cap bé. Demonstrations continued in the form of marches all across the country that will culminate in Barcelona on Friday, coinciding with a general strike. For three days, thousands of protesters will walk to the Catalan capital from Girona, Vic, Berga, Tarraga and Tarragona. Today they were joined by the president himself, who avoided commenting on the recent altercations. Jo estic una vegada més orgullosíssim d'aquest esperit de civisme amb el qual s'està sortint perquè la violència no ens representa ni ens representarà mai el moviment independentista català. The Spanish government is sending more police officers to Catalonia to guarantee safety. Unionist parties are calling to take control of the Catalan police as grassroots organizations have organized a major march against independence in Barcelona next week. El gobierno debe aplicar ya la ley de seguridad nacional para que Kim Torra no esté en ningún momento en la cadena de mando de la seguridad. Monday's verdict has unleashed a wave of protests. Students are on a three-day strike that has blocked several streets and is likely to cause further disturbances in the coming days, as today's pro-independence protests are continuing well into the night.